Greetings everyone, welcome to yet another content from Throttle Alpha. Today we're going to be taking a look at some new ranges of LS2 helmets and these are being imported by LS2 Bangladesh and well with the current stance that LS2 has I think they're doing pretty good with the helmets they're bringing in. Now this particular unit is the FF900 Valiant 2 variant. Now this Valiant helmet well this is one of the special offerings because this is a very good build 180 degree flip up modular helmet. So yes, we're taking a look at a modular helmet today and with the way it's been designed, uh, the shell design's pretty good and we're gonna look about the pros and cons of this helmet in this content. Now this shell is both EC and DOT certified and when it's coming to the weight for this helmet, well this might get a bit heavy. Uh, yes, this helmet is 1700 grams but then again the weight is pretty distributed like uh, in terms of a modular helmet when you have the flip levels to be a bit backward uh, you don't feel the weight acting a lot but when the flip levels a bit downward uh, then yes this helmet might feel a bit heavy and this uh, long oval shape really helped this helmet uh, to have that weight distributed throughout the chin area too so I think despite this helmet being 1700 grams I don't think the overall construction for the weight has been a pretty bad job done so with however the shell's been designed I think it's a pretty good construction for a flip up modular helmet and this uh, polycarbonate or thermoplastic shell has a, a special design factor working it has this KPA construction mechanism which is kinetic polymer alloy what happens is that this uh, it has very high penetration resistance so it can absorb a lot of impact and it can distribute that impact throughout the whole body construction so this KPA construction really helped this helmet to be a bit safer in that uh, context of safety. As an overall shell design, it's a pretty good job done. And since you have that EC and DOT certifications both working for this shell, so there's no space to complain about the construction of the shell. One special thing uh, you get added in the box is this backpack. So you get this special camo printed water resistant backpack and it's pretty cool. What's special is that you can carry a whole of a helmet inside this backpack. So yeah. So this is another graphics that we have for the Valiant helmet and yes this is the space that you get inside the backpack so it's a pretty handy thing to carry around. So these are the two graphics that we have here to showcase and they have other graphics to offer for these shells too. Another thing about this shell construction is that you have the dual density EPS construction working for these helmets too. And now coming to the second factor about these helmets it's the ventilation. So you have the dual uh, top vents in the top and about the dual top vents. Uh, since this is a modular helmet, you already have that extra space that whenever you want, you can flip your helmet up if you want a lot of air in those low speed cruises mainly. But in terms of the top vents, these are very active. And about the chin ventilations, you see these breaker series or these FF series from LS2, they have pretty good ventilation in most of their helmets. So you see there's no space to complain about the ventilations for this helmet. The front vent or the chin vent does an excellent work too. And along with the top vents channeling the hot air inside through the rear extractors, you get an active ventilation working for these helmets and since you have all four uh, ventilation ports acting together you get a pretty solid ventilation out of these helmets now coming to the visor section for this ls2 ff900 valiant helmet you see these visors are pretty good uh, with the vertical viewing angles so in terms of viewing i think these visors do a pretty good job and since you have a long oval shell design you get that extra 360 view working with the sides too so i think in terms of viewing with these helmets you wouldn't have much of a problem and you also get a sun visor included in the shell design and the sun visor switch is located by the side of the helmet. One good thing is that the sun visor key or the sun visor key mechanism, it's a pretty good build and the key design is also uh, pretty convenient. It's a hard design. I like hard keys because they don't uh, get loose pretty often. So it's a pretty good addition done. And in terms of visor clarity, they're pretty good too. These visors are UV protected and fog resistant and you also get pin lock inclusion too. So I think the visor section was a pretty good job done with this helmet. And now coming to the internals for the FF900, I think this is the best part about these helmets. Uh, the internal construction is a very good job done with these helmets. And especially with the chin strap, it's reinforced 
and the material and the fabrication used throughout the liner is an excellent tailoring work done. The helmet includes a micrometric belt and the good thing about these micrometric belts is that they're reinforced with metal. One good thing is uh, other micrometric belts, they're made of plastic material so you always have that uh, risk of plastic breaking but in terms of a reinforced belt, uh, this is a very solid work done. And the bread deflectors included too and you also have this badging works done here. So I think as an overall construction of the liner that's been made out, it's a pretty solid job done. There are reflective patches along with the liner and the removable and washable too. So I think in terms of uh, the liner and the fabrication that's been used, in terms of a hot and humid weather like ours, I think they won't do a bad job because they're pretty comfortable. So I think the padding or the uh, internal section has been a very good foundation for this helmet and I think we'll, this will be a very strong selling point too. So I think in terms of the ability that this helmet holds so i think that these helmets are pretty quality oriented so you don't need to worry about quality for these helmets and i think as an overall uh, design work the ff900 valiant does a pretty good job so this is all that we had for these helmets i think this video helped you understand the helmet a bit better uh, we have a lot of cool pictures in our instagram profile do check it out and do follow us on facebook too we'll come up with more contents very soon till then take care stay safe and thank you <laughs>